Right guys, in this video we're going to try and rig up this little train um, with a long wire on it so we can externally power it. Have it running round in a circular track. And we're going to try this solar panel sitting in the middle of that um, circle and see if we can power that from that. Sorry, that from that. I doubt it but we'll give it a try and if we can get that to run we'll see if we can get it going around in a circle to do that we need some very lightweight wire so I'm going to strip the wire out of this USB lead because the actual wire inside it will be quite thin right we're having absolutely no luck trying to use this nice big solar panel to run the electric motor in here got a nice long extension lead so we can plug into it nothing at all in fact I was thinking of just taking it out just so it's not actually got any load on it at all Right, so there we are, no load, nothing happening. Right, we're having absolutely no luck trying to run this motor, even from this solar panel. Um, nothing at all there. Just for comparison, if I unplug that, yes, there will be quite a voltage drop along there. But I'll show you why that shouldn't be a problem. If I plug this directly into the motor in there, the drive motor. So, solar panel's given us plenty of current. It's actually about a 6 volt one, that's why I'm saying voltage drop along the extension lead here shouldn't be a big problem. But if we plug directly into there, nothing happening, tilt it up, sunlight. We're getting nothing. So it's just the wrong type of motor for this sort of purpose. I could, well, I couldn't really fit that type of motor into that chassis. I'd have to modify it quite significantly, wouldn't I? It wouldn't look right. You might be able to get it to run. You have to cut all that off. Cut a big hole in the body, chassis, body, body shell, what you want to call it. But that's not going to work like that. It looks like the only way we're going to get it to run is to use solar power to charge up batteries and then use batteries to run the motor. Right, just pop the motor back into the chassis there. It's not connected at the other end of that wire. So if I stick this one and a half volt battery in there we can demonstrate it still runs. So it's running off one and a half volt battery. If we try and measure the output on the solar panel six point three five volts I think you can probably see there six point three six it's not the voltage it's the current and as I've already demonstrated if I plug that one in to the existing motor
So, yeah, it's that type of motor. It's just not suitable. Just to say, I haven't given up on trying to get the little train to work, but we're really not making any progress. I've got it over there with an extension lead on it. It's actually got some lead weight in it now. I'll show you why in a second. But if I plug it into that solar panel, we get nothing at all. And I've demonstrated to you that solar panel runs the electric motor on that boat absolutely fine, no trouble at all. And remember that solar panel on the boat, we measured that, we were getting about 6 volts out of it. So if I use one of my little LiPo batteries, so that's probably about 4 volts in there at the moment, 3.7 volts nominal charge. I'll just try and do this so you can see I do it. I'll get it the right way around to plug it in. Okay, I'll plug that in. And away we go. So I've got some lead weight in that because otherwise it just falls over straight away without a battery in it. It's too light. And if I try and put it on a track, the only circle we've got is that really tight circle, which is much smaller than I'd want to use, and it just falls over straight away. It goes around too fast. That is obviously using that battery, which is too high. Um, so I'm not sure where we're going to go here. I think the next option is possibly try the battery in a solar light. So charge the solar charge the battery using the solar panel and then discharge the battery into the train. Because then it will be solar powered indirectly. Right. Here's one of those solar lights. If I cover over the panel, LED comes on. So we'll have a look, see what batteries this one's got in it. Right, that's handy. This one's got a little AAA nickel metal hydride battery in it. So we should be able to just plug that one into the train and it should run. Or if I run a couple of leads off here, we should be able to plug it into the end of here and run it remotely just so we can demonstrate whether it runs or not. Right, I don't expect this to last long, but I've soldered a couple of wires on either side of the battery. We've still got power in there. I'll leave that switched on. Um, so, if I plug... Uh, no, oh, hang on, if I turn that off, we'd still, we'll still get power from the battery because we're directly across the battery. So the rest of it's irrelevant now. The solar panel has charged the battery and now we're going to discharge it directly. Not going to be anything to do with the circuit board on there. So if I plug this in to here, will the train move? Oh, yes. That was it. <laughs> that was it. We've used it up. So that was our little bit of solar power moving the train. Is there any left to light up the LED? Oh yeah, there's some left there to light up the LED. But then the LED needs so little power compared to what the train needs.
there. There's that little battery. Just to demonstrate. Yeah. So, LED still lighting up, but we're going straight across the battery. And there's not enough now left to actually run the motor. So that was it. That was finally solar powered in that we used a solar light that charged up a rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery. Still got enough power in it to... Mm, looks like we've run that down now. <laughs> it did still have enough power in it to Right, light the LED, but it looks like we've flattened that now. Oh, it can't do it because it's on there. Ah, right, there you go. So as soon as we plug the motor in, it's draining it completely. And yet, from a little LiPo battery, we're fine. So I could claim that I've actually done what I was asked to do. Run the train off a solar garden light but using it to charge up the battery first just packing it all away and remembered I'd said I'd put a lead weight in here so I thought I ought to show you there you are, just a bit of lead weight to take the place of the battery to try and restore the balance but when you've got wheels so close together it's easy for it to tip over. Still, that's what I meant. A bit of lead weight in there to replace the weight of the battery. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here, is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.